And welcome back, it's James in Japan. As you can see, my hair is messy. It's not slicked up the way I usually have it. That's because today I'm going for a haircut. I'm going to a place called Sankyu, which means thank you. And it's written as 3Q, and they're all over Japan. Haircuts only cost a thousand yen. So I'll talk about that place a bit later. For this video, I'm gonna tell you what I usually say when I go for a haircut. I'm not gonna film the people or the place at Sankyu because I'm, I'm pretty sure they won't let me film in there. I'm just going to tell you here in the comfort of my own home or in the stairwell. So anyway, okay, so when when you go to this place, it's called Sankyu, you bring your thousand yen, you take your thousand yen, you put it into this vending machine, then you get this little card and then you sit yourself down and wait for your turn. Okay, then once it's your turn, you put your things aside and the person who's going to cut your hair will ask you, Kyo wa doshimashou ka, which means what would you like done to your hair today? And you say, uh, in my case, I would say, Kami no ke o mijikaku shite kudasai. Kami no ke means, or kami, means hair. Mijikaku shite means make it short or shorten your hair. So, Kami no ke o mijikaku shite kudasai, or just say, mijikaku shite kudasai. Mijikaku comes from the adjective mijikai, okay? Some Japanese words that you will need are mijikai, which means short, Nagai means long, kato means cut, um, kari agaru means shave up, um, suite or usuku means to uh, thin out your hair, momiyage means sideburns, maigami means bangs. So let me demonstrate what I would say. So the person would ask me, kyo wa dou shimeshou ka? Oh, how would you like your hair done today? I'll say, uh, kaminoke o mijikaku shite kudasai. So the person cutting my hair will ask me, kaminoke do nagasa, how long or how short do you want your hair? And believe it or not, you're going to have to know the exact measurement in terms of metric millimeters, okay? In my case, I usually say gumiri, which means five millimeters. If your guy they'll ask you about your sideburns, momiyake wa, I'll say, cut it a bit or chotodake kite kudasai. Chotodake means just a bit. And the person might say, Maegami wa? How about your bangs? I'll say, Chotodake kite kudasai. Like this. You can show them how much you want it. All right? Now, as for the back of the head, I'll say, Ushuro o kari agate. That means shave the back of the head. You're going to have to leave it up to them. If you want it shorter, you just say, Mo chotto kite kudasai. Okay, anytime you want something shorter, you just say, Mo chotto kite kudasai. Okay, um, as for thinning out the hair, which I'm going to ask, I'm going to say, uh, Usuku shite kudasai, which means thin out the hair, or you could say, Suite kudasai, which means the same thing, lessen the hair. So that's about it. So um, let's go over to my computer. I'll show you the place that I usually get my hair cut done. Okay, you're looking at that place where I get my hair cut. It's called Sankyu Cut. And they're all over Japan. A haircut takes about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, okay? They don't wash your hair. So just know that. Picture number one shows that you put a thousand yen into the machine and you get a card. Then you sit yourself down and wait for your turn. And then number three, you tell the person who's cutting your hair what you want. And it takes about 10 minutes. And it, I know, Sankyu sounds cheesy. Thank you. Most Sankyu places that I've been to have a kids area. The staff do not talk. Um, just, to, just to let you know, there's no small talk. <laughs> it's pretty basic. You have to tell them exactly what you want. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.